Thomas and the Spring Surprise One of Thomas's favourite things to do is to visit the farm. He loves to see Farmer McCall's sheep grazing in their field. <coughs> the sheep would call. Peep, peep, Thomas would whistle back. One day, when Thomas was passing the field, Farmer McCall waved him over. Hello, Thomas, said Farmer McCall. I'm glad you're here. I have very special news. Some lambs are going to be born today. Thomas was very excited. I can't wait to meet them, he peeped. Newborn lambs need to have fresh straw, Farmer McCall explained. Can you go to the old barn at Marin to collect some? Right away, Thomas puffed, and off he went to the old barn. Thomas wondered if there was anything else the lambs would like. On his way, Thomas passed the bakery. He saw Percy loading his truck with freshly baked bread. Maybe the lambs would like some bread, he puffed. Percy, may I have some? Of course, said Percy, and his crew loaded trays of bread into Thomas's truck. Thomas steamed on cheerily until he came to the garden centre, where he saw James picking up colourful spring flowers. Thomas was sure the lambs would like the flowers. May I have some for the lambs? Thomas asked, and James agreed. Thomas was nearly at the old barn when he saw Charlie waiting for the signal. Hello, Charlie, puffed Thomas. I'm going to meet some newborn lambs today. What fun, chuffed Charlie. I'm going to the dairy to collect cheese. Thomas thought that the lambs might like cheese too, so he went with Charlie to have some cheese loaded into his truck. After the dairy, Thomas hurried on to the old barn to collect the straw. Your truck is full, the farm worker said. There's no room for the straw. Fizzling fireboxes, Thomas exclaimed. I'll just have to take the lambs, the bread, cheese and flowers instead. When Thomas returned to the farm, Farmer McCall was not happy to see there was no straw in the truck. The lambs must have straw to keep them warm, he said, and they'll be born before the sun goes down. Thomas felt very silly. I'm sorry. I will go and collect the straw straight away, he peeped. Thomas raced back to the old barn, saying over and over to himself, I must get the straw. There can be no delay. The lambs will be born by the end of the day. He steamed past Percy refilling at the water tower, whizzed past James at a junction, and Charlie at the station. There was no time to stop. The sun was setting when Thomas arrived at the old barn. Hello again, Thomas puffed the farm worker. Please, can you load the straw into my truck? I must get it to the lambs before they get cold. The farm worker quickly loaded the straw bales, and soon Thomas was on his way back to the farm. Thomas steamed so quickly, his axles ached. I must go fast, I mustn't delay, the lambs must have straw by the end of the day, he sang. When he reached the farm, he was so worried he would be too late. You're just in time, Farmer McCall smiled. The lambs have just been born. Thomas was delighted. He had arrived in time to meet the lambs. The next day, Thomas took some school children to visit the new lambs. Farmer McCall laid out the bread, cheese and flowers, and the children had a splendid spring picnic. I have a surprise for you, Thomas, smiled Farmer McCall. I named this lamb Thomas. After you! Peep, peep, Thomas whistled happily. Meh, meh, the lambs answered. 